are wondering how nuclear winter will look like, this video may give you some ideas. Today we have another experiment. I want to show how air is absorbing gamma rays. I will send aircraft flying over gamma fields on different heights, and our Geiger counter will show us how air is halving the energy of rays by passing through on the average 50 feet, which is 150 meters. This knowledge can be useful for researchers who want to send aircraft ahead of themselves. Knowing attitude and radiation levels, one can easily calculate the level of radiation down on the ground. Now we are flying through gamma field. This field is made of alpha and beta particles, which unequally spread on the ground and emit gamma rays as part of their decay process. Depending on their initial energy, gamma rays can travel in air, so it mists over the Earth, like invisible cloud that never travels, but always moves. Step forward, step back, and you see different readings. Now, quadrocopter hovers at one place, so you can see now readings of Geiger counter in fixed position, also vary. Radioactivity intensified towards the ground. We call it gamma field, because alpha and beta rays won't travel further than 12 cm. Alpha and beta tend to stay on the ground, or go into the ground. Chernobyl is a place where you can drive a vehicle without danger of hitting any of a living thing, while the boards not count. In the sky is the same. Here you can fly your drone freely, and the birds not count. Over wasteland, I can fly my drone as far as battery lasts, and I never lose signal. This area is free from electromagnetic fields. The only fields that are here are gamma fields, and today we are going to explore them. By the way, this drone's name is Phantom, and now I wonder, who is more of a Phantom, this drone or this city? In Chernobyl, when we see high radiation figures, we never know if source of this radiation was there since the time of an accident, or if it was brought by some nuclear baron, who not long ago has dumped here a couple of containers with high-level waste. This town is heavily poisoned with radiation. Just imagine. More than 30 years after the accident, and it's still dangerous to go here without respirator. I don't wear one because snow is the best respirator. Someone rode on a bus stop. We'll be back. But I'm afraid that the next bus won't be soon.